My name's Mike Gray. Um, I'm a cellular physiologist working at Newcastle University and uh, I'm the coordinator of this uh, SRC grant in of CF. We know that in cystic fibrosis there's uh, a problem with the CFTR protein. So CFTR is very important in controlling fluid balance and also the pH, um, sort of alkaline or acid. And in CF you have too little fluid and you also have too much acid. Never had it in the family. Logan's the first one to be ever diagnosed. And it was a shock, big shock. I mean, we counted it already, and Logan takes 12,000 tablets a year. We're really restricted on life living with CF. We know as well as if we can get the protein to work better, more like a, a normal person's, then you can actually overcome or prevent the major problems developing, which is in the lungs, it's lung infection. Sometimes you just <laughs> feel so alone. Do you know? Nobody understands what it's like to live with a illness day in and day out. The Strategic Research Centre grant from the CF Trust, it's a, it's a great example of, of how research is being done through international collaborations. The particular um, grant that I'm coordinating actually involves three other partners. They're all experts in slightly different aspects of cystic fibrosis research. And collectively, by working together, which we can do now on this consortium, um, that is um, a much better way of achieving a faster throughput to, to the final end and, and have much more impact. Anything that we can do to try and improve CFTR function or to use other avenues to help with that process should basically help to prevent the major disease problems in cystic fibrosis and therefore would enable CF patients to live a much more normal life and have a much longer lifespan. To think that people actually are doing stuff to help is amazing, you know, so it's, you need that wee bit of hope to cling on to.